Hi there, I'm Lunaj Ras. I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of Whatnot. This is going to be the first of many videos which go more into detail about what Whatnot is all about, the different features that we offer, and how we can help you automate your customer interactions. But before we get into all of that, I just wanted to take a quick moment to thank you for signing up to our platform and uh, giving us the opportunity to help you uh, automate interactions across sales, customer support, and other aspects of your business. Just in case if you haven't signed up, there's a link in the description below which can help you get started. Now, our goal with Whatnot is to make sure that you know you meet your audience wherever they are, whether that's the website, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, or even SMS. These could be existing customers, future customers, prospects, vendors, basically anyone who's looking to get in touch with you and learn more about your business. Now, automating interactions is no easy task. You know, it's, we've seen this firsthand with our company and with our clients. There's generally a lot of to and fro involved and a lot of multiple different factors that need to be considered. This is why we wanted to build a platform that made this easy without changing how you essentially work. Uh, we integrate with the leading CRMs and third-party tools out there, which don't really change your workflow and whatnot basically just fits in as a plug-and-play system uh, within your existing workflow. So at Whatnot, we're just not we're not just giving businesses an interface to build bots and deploy them according to use cases. It's basically a best of both worlds. You get a chat bot and you get a live chat. So if you want to build a bot in a couple hours and go live, that's possible. If you want to deploy a live chat and start talking to customers right off the bat, you can do that in minutes. So I'm going to take you through some key screens of uh, Whatnot, starting with uh, dashboard analytics, uh, just so that you can get a better understanding of how you can get the most out of the platform. So what you're looking at over here is the dashboard analytics screen, which goes over some of the key metrics like top messages, uh, total messages, total conversations, uh, top pages, top countries, basically just gives you a bird's eye view of how the chatbot is performing. We have uh, another video in this particular series, which goes more into detail about each of these metrics and how you can analyze this data to get the most out of it and tweak your chatbot strategy. Next up, what we have is the live chat screen. So let's say you have the chatbot that's already deployed. The chatbot is doing all the heavy lifting of talking to your customers uh, or anybody who's looking for more information on your business. Now, you don't need to have live chat for that. The bot could easily screen um, you know, prospects or future customers or vendors or anyone who's trying to talk to you and give them all the information they need. And you don't need to have a person deployed on your side in order to do that. So here you can see that you know there's a chatbot conversation that's active on my screen here where a person is looking for a chatbot. He's just looking to learn about chatbots. And the bot is giving uh, him all the information on what chatbots can essentially do. So, try to, so to put this into context of your business, essentially a bot could give all the information to a visitor about your different service offerings and basically educate them on what it is that your company does. And this is being done automatically 24-7 round the clock. Um, once that's done, the bot's going to basically generate a lead for you. They're going to ask for the name, they're going to ask for the email, company name, and the mobile number. This could be any information, so you can definitely you know, customize this according to what information you need in terms of pre-qualification information uh, from your prospect before somebody from your team gets in touch with them. What you have on the side here is basically some information in terms around what channel does this customer come from, whether that's web, Facebook Messenger, or WhatsApp. Uh, which page on your website did they initiate a conversation from, where are they located, which city, which country, and some information about you know what sort of an OS are they using. Now, this is important for some of our customers who have uh, bots deployed within their apps. So they want to know whether you know customers are, whether their demographic is using uh, iOS or Android more. So this is more information uh, which is helpful for them to tweak their uh, bot strategy or to tweak their uh, marketing and sales campaigns. Next up, what you have is the contacts dashboard. Now, this is really helpful for businesses uh, who don't have CRM. So, you know, we work with a lot of small businesses that don't really have uh, a Salesforce or a HubSpot subscription, and they're not using uh, these large scale CRM or ERP tools. So essentially what you could have is that the bot or the live chat could collect all this information for you, keep this in the contacts dashboard. And you can see that, okay, this is the name, the email, the contact details, the city, country, and the company of this particular prospect. And your team now needs to get in touch with them. Um, you can customize these columns uh, depending on how your chat workflow is structured. So basically, if there's any description that you want to be, that, that needs to be added, that can be added right here. 
if there are any other fields that need to be added in this particular screen, you can always customize them depending on the use case that your bot is built on. And lastly, you can always export this into a CSV. Um, so you can either you know, pass it on to the team that's, uh, that's going to be you know, making use of this particular information. Next up, what you have is uh, customization. Now, obviously, if you're going to be deploying a bot on your website, you want to make sure it looks very similar to uh, you know, what, your, what your website looks like when it comes to the theme, when it comes to the color, when it comes to the icons. So you can always change the name of your bot. You can uh, you know, customize the header logo. You can customize the message that it should send to the customer uh, or any, any user who's going to be interacting with this bot. And you can change the color to match uh, your brand or uh, the website's theme. Once again, thank you so much for signing up on Whatnot. Uh, we're really happy to have you here and uh, we'll be here to support you throughout the way. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.